So we're back in the water. How she said she said while we're bickering you're the one who started that so whatever get some anti-flying fortresses ready you go off in the corner after choking uh i have faith that dragon zombie is strong enough that we can get through these idiots but we'll have to see as far as uh this idiot calling people idiots. There's no items here. The only real threat is the Axe Raider, so that's going to make things a lot easier when we get there. If, for whatever reason, Jessel begins struggling, I'm going to switch my into point. I guess I should get one of these ready, too. To be completely honest, since they're just flying enemies, this might actually be a good opportunity to let them respawn, and then it'll be easier to take over. Wait, why'd it hit that one? I thought it hits the one that's closest. That's trouble. It's supposed to hit the one that's closest, I thought. Or is that anti-ground only game? I could swear it was the one that's closest. I'm gonna have to look into this. But yeah, if you bring a dragon capture jar to these fights, it'll actually be a lot easier. I'm gonna turn the game sound there, too. They don't have any items. Parrot Dragon is probably the biggest threat. I don't trust my luck. I'm going to be healing a lot more frequently now, because you never know when they get a stray critical or just a bunch of hits in a row. Now, the good news is we can use up basically all of our attacks, and then as soon as we fuse, we've got more than enough attacks remaining to just wipe the entire team. They're going to keep guarding, it looks like, so we can pick them apart bit by bit. just because we, uh... Like, these monsters alone aren't powerhouses. It's just that they have enough attacks that we're able to get through them pretty quickly. Again, my biggest concern is just finishing off Parrot Dragon. If I can avoid fusing in this fight, then I'm going to avoid fusing. I should save it for some fool in one of the castles. Or maybe the boss, because I am a little bit worried about Axe Raider. I don't want it to just plow through another one of my monsters. I should have seen that coming. Oh, two in a row. Okay. Now this connects. Yeah, I'm not worried now. We can just let this fight peter out. Might have the Eagle Guard, though. I'm trying to think. 
I guess attack and then blue medicine. I don't even really need blue medicine, though, do I? Depends if this next attack hits. Because I could just wipe all three of them right here. Yeah, it looks like I'm actually in good standing then. Assuming I don't have a bunch of misses in a row, but even if I do, then I'm not that worried. Did I put the right team in the point after my... I'm trying to think, actually. It was the dragon zombie that I need to put there, yeah. So they only leveled up once, which is mildly disappointing, but whatever. thing I can do is just try to immediately finish them off before they get any attacks. If this fails to KO, I might have the other monsters guard when their turn comes up. It's not enough. And you broke the poison already anyway. Damn it. You guard. I don't know who they're going to hit first. Okay, thank you for hitting Dragon Zombie first, isn't that? This won't KO, but this will be very close. I stagger the attacks out enough. Aw, oh, damn it, that actually would have... Should have hit the Curse of Dragon first, then. Okay, thank you for hitting Dragon Zombie, too. That, that helps me immensely, more than you'd know. Alright, three for three, okay. Looks like these two monsters got some life in them after all. I swear, Dragon Zombie has been like an MVP of this entire play. Stats are going to go through the roof. Well, not quite as through the roof as I wanted. Dark Elf actually gained a lot of defense from that, so that's pretty good. I'm trying to think of what I want to do now. These teams aren't that strong. Actually, with a Missile Blitz, that's a bit of a problem. Nine moves for Net Hunter. I really don't want to deal with that. I'm thinking I should probably just cut my losses and go fight the boss. Like, this is a pretty short chapter as is, and it's really not worth running around trying to do extra nonsense. If I can have Joey just immediately take out the Axe Raider and then run. I think I have a chance. I 
I guess I'll see what's for sale here, just to be on the safe side. I don't know, let's just go for broke. In fact, get as many of these as you can, hell with it. Is this overkill? Absolutely. But you'll see why I'm doing it. Oh wow, Winged Eagle moves a little faster than I thought. Good. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. I don't want to stall us more than I need to. Let's just risk it and see what happens. I have confidence in myself here, surprisingly. Though I'm mildly surprised there was no uh, dialogue before the boss fight. Okay, all that matters is take out Axe Raider. Actually, in what universe does it make sense that Axe Raider has significantly higher attack than Judge Man? I don't get that. Or is he Castle Adept? Is that what's going on? Let me see. And if you're wondering, that pop was my arm. I'm not a kid anymore. I'm good, though. Let's be fair, I was never the most athletic. Yeah, I guess Judge Man is just not that good of a monster in this game. Okay, I think we can get this. Maybe not this attack, necessarily. Hello, you hoser. Thank you so much for the lurk. Hope you're having a good night tonight. Good, he's gone. At this point, all I need to do is endure. I don't care about fusing, because the biggest threat's out of the way. I can stretch this out over as many fights as I need. sure about is whether or not I'll be able to finish Armored Lizard in this fight specifically, because with the natural armor that it's got, it might take a little bit to whittle down. This will be close. Now I think we're gonna be just short now, unless this does like over 400 damage. Not quite, it's close. I'm just going to blue medicine now because we're probably gonna have to do the second fight anyway. No one might like I'll probably miss an attack, so no point taking the risk.
Man, it's astronomical how much easier this mission was compared to the last one. Like, we were getting blitzed by magic nonstop, and now we've got almost nothing to worry about. It's absurd, really. I hate to say, but, uh, spoiler alert, the magic is not stopping. At least not yet. Next chapter is going to be a bit of an uphill battle. Just confusing to me. <laughs> 